From Bryson DeChambeau saying the ball rollback rule is atrocious to Justin Thomas calling the association selfish. Here's why pro golfers are mad at the USGA. The sports evolved a lot over the past few years, not only in terms of the new competitions that have popped up, but also the golfers themselves. We're seeing some truly spectacular golf these days, with your average tour pro getting some insane driving distances and posting super low scores. But while people love seeing these freaks of nature whip the balls 340 yards away and score eagles, there is another big issue. The courses feel too easy for some of these guys, so the USGAs come up with a radical solution to cut their wings, a shorter golf ball that reduces hitting distance by 15 yards on average. And Bryson thinks this new proposal is atrocious. First things first, Bryson's a true long bomber and he's known for his insane drives. So it makes sense why he'd be mad. But the thing is, even if this new proposal's a threat to his bread and butter, it doesn't invalidate his opinion. And man, does he have some strong words for the USGA. He says that it's the most unimaginative, uninspiring, game-cutting thing you could do to the sport because everyone wants to see people hit it farther. In fact, that's part of the reason why fans love Bryson as a player too. And if there's one thing this guy knows, it's how to send his golf ball to outer space. Sure, some people also hate him for this because it is like having a superpower, but it's not like he was born with a special long-distance driver. He says he worked really hard to learn how to hit the ball farther, and it's a shame that the USGA is trying to handicap him now for that. Besides, if the change only affected the top players and made the game more competitive, then it would have made sense. But the fact that it's going to affect every pro makes it the worst thing you could do to golf. He says they should focus on making courses more difficult rather than rolling golf balls back. And he's not wrong because other golfers also agree with him. We've seen some real easy courses lately, like the Travelers Championships TPC River Highlands, where Keegan Bradley posted an insane score of 23 under. But there was also the 2023 PGA Championship at Oak Hill, which proved to be a super tricky course, because no one other than Kepka, Hovland, or Scheffler could get better than three under. So driving distance isn't the issue here. The USGA needs to make these courses trickier. And don't just take it from me. Seven-time PGA Tour winner Webb Simpson also thinks we need better course design. He says that equipment rollback doesn't make sense, and instead, we need to see tighter fairways, more rough, and more trees on the courses. Simpson claims he's spoken to a bunch of tour pros about this, and they all have the same opinion. Sure, it may not cut the insane driving distances, but do people even want that in the first place? Well, the 2022 Valspar Championship winner, Sam Burns, thinks they don't. And again, he's got a point. He says that the rollback proposal is silly because golf is all about entertainment. The game's obviously grown a lot over the last few years, but Sam's not sure if people want to come out to a course to see pros not hit insane distances. In fact, if anything, watching someone hit that 350-yard drive is the charm for the fans, and there should be no problem with that. Besides, if some pros are mad at others for hitting those distances, then they should work on themselves rather than complaining about it. But while the golfers are mad at the change, I wouldn't be any good at my job if I didn't give you the other side's perspective. So what's up with the USGA's rule change? And why are they making it in the first place? Well, the proposal from the USGA and the RNA would come in the form of a model local rule, which would give tournaments the option to choose golf balls that fly shorter. So, it's not some blanket law that applies to everything. It's also worth noting that this is just a proposal at this point, meaning nothing's set in stone just yet. And even if the change is applied, then the earliest we'll see it is 2026. That said, the USGA doesn't like golfers going beast mode and shooting 350-yard drives, and their concern is valid too. After all, there are a lot of old-school golf courses in use today that were designed for 260-yard drives. But now that people like Bryson are hitting 350, they're virtually skipping major parts of the course and obviously gaining an advantage over the rest of the competition. Sure, cutting down the driving distance feels like an easy way out, but hey, at least it's easier than ripping these classic courses apart. Besides, if the game can evolve one way, why can't it go the other way too? Because it is about keeping things entertaining, right? And Rory McIlroy agrees. He 
he's one of the very few golfers who don't have an issue with the proposal, despite the fact that he's one of the longest drivers on the PGA Tour and will be affected by it just as much as Bryson. In fact, many people say that it's Rory's driving distance that makes him competitive because his short game hasn't been great for almost a decade. So why does he want to sabotage his own game like that? Well, good guy Rory wants to keep elite golfers on a leash because he thinks the fact that it doesn't affect your average guy on a course is great. Oh, and he knows it's an unpopular opinion. But for him, this change will make the real good players stand out from the rest of the crowd. After all, people won't be able to rely on their driving distance to bail them out of tricky situations. Big words coming for Rory there. But hey, he's got a point. Even if you look at Deschambeau, the only reason he can hit balls so far is that he bulked up in 2020, gaining about 50 pounds. People say he took steroids to get there, though it did pay off, because not only did he become the longest driver on tour, but he also won the 2020 US Open off the back of his superior driving distance. So maybe golfers like him do need to be brought down a notch or two. Besides, Rory thinks that innovation's a part of every sport, so where's the harm in trying this out as well? Well, there is one slight problem with the new change, because equipment manufacturers have to make the balls too. And that, folks, could prove to be a massive hurdle in all this, because those guys are not happy with the announcement. After all, they've spent decades perfecting the golf ball, and there's a lot of research that goes into it. So a governing body turning up and telling them to come up with a new type of ball. Well, that just means they'd have to expand their R&D budgets and splash a ton of cash to test these new balls out. Sure, this isn't the first time something like this has happened, because they were asked to redesign the grooves on golf clubs back in 2010, but that wasn't even close to being as big of a change as this one. Titleist, for example, is one of the biggest golf ball makers in the world, and they say the proposal's gonna ruin the sport. If they make one ball that's shorter, it's gonna affect other shots too, meaning golfers would lose decades of muscle memory they've developed. And if they make multiple versions of golf balls, then it'd just be confusing. So they're gonna sit down with governing bodies and have some serious conversations about this proposal. Speaking of having a conversation though, Justin Thomas is also very mad at the USGA because he went on a whole three minute long rant. And I'll only give you the good bits because this guy kept going on and on. He says that the USGA is trying to fix a problem that doesn't exist because the coolest thing about golf is that an average person can play with the same ball as him, which allows them to see how they'd compare to a tour pro. He thinks the USGA's made some super selfish decisions over the years, and this is another example of that. He says that if sprinters are getting faster and finishing a mile in record time, does that mean we should extend the length of a mile? None of this makes any sense. JT says they're elite athletes, and hitting the ball further and faster is the whole point of their training. And if someone gets really good at it, then that's great. Because again, that's why we watch competitive sport, to see people who are the best at what they do. Besides, there's also a possibility that only some tournaments will accept the change, which would make things even messier. So there you have it. From Justin Thomas calling the association selfish, to Bryson DeChambeau saying the ball rollback rule is atrocious. That's why pro golfers are mad at the USGA.